All right. Um, last time I mistakenly went lectured too long. All right. This class originally was a four credit hour class, and I don't know, a couple years back it changed to a three credit hour class. So actually, the lecture should be 50 minutes and the lab should be 50 minutes. So, in other words, this is how the class will be from here on in. It will be five fifteen to six oh five for the lecture and six fifteen or thereabouts to seven oh five for the lab. Okay? So that's your normal three credit hour class. I lectured for an hour 15 minutes, which actually is how long you'd lecture if this was a four credit hour class. So, all right, glad we got that straight, or something like that. But anyhow, that's how this will be. Now, um, if you remember, we left class um, on Tuesday. I was trying to import something, and it seemed to be taking a long time, and I just thought, well, it's taking a long time. And, but a number of other people have told me they experienced the same thing. So, I uh, came to the conclusion it wasn't just taking a long time, did a little bit of investigating, and I think I can straighten it out. Uh, I think it's, it's not that, uh, it's something that we're going to have to do when we import stuff from Deedle. So, I'm going to try to show you how to fix it. I fixed a couple of these to, got the, to get them to work, so hopefully I'll be able to um, do it and not get hung up on something. So let me go and open Android Studio. The, the other thing that potentially is an issue is that um, everyone's installation could be a little bit different depending on any number of different things. All right, I'm going to go and open an existing, and I'm going to pick the welcome app. All right, so away it goes. You get a message like that, you can just click OK. You can close your tips. And it's going to show this message saying, welcome, syncing, and it's going to do that for a while. Now what I didn't notice last time is that actually it's trying to tell me something. And if you look over in the bottom, there's an event log that has an issue. And if you click on that, there's an issue with the Gradle for my installation compared to the installation uh, that this was originally compiled on. So I ended up doing a couple of different things. All right. First thing I did was went up to Preferences, Build, Execute, and Deployment, click Gradle, and instead of Gradle Home, I said use default Gradle Wrapper. So it's under Preferences, Build, Execute, Deployment, Gradle, Use Default Gradle Wrapper. I clicked OK. All right. The other thing I did was I went in to Build Gradle, and I changed this from dot com, com Android Tools Build Gradle 1.3 to some later version. Let's see, 
0.5 because that's what it's asking me to do. Now when you do that notice up here, it says Gradle project synced failed. Basic functionality will not work. And you can click the try again. It is downloading the newer version of Gradle. That'll take a little bit of time. It's 11% done, but we can see it's actually doing something, and that should straighten it out. So, in a nutshell, I went and changed Build, Gr build Gradle and Gradle Wrapper properties to 3.3, and I also changed it under Preferences Build Execute Deployment to say Use Default Gradle Wrapper. And I think that takes care of it. Knock on wood. It was the Gradle version you changed to mm. 3.3? Yes. should probably say something or move so that the camera, we don't think the video is frozen. Let me move the camera. No, not that. Zoom out. That's too far out. Zoom in. That was under preferences. Under preferences okay. Yeah. But we're still having a problem. So where okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna Google this.
try this. So change that to 3-3. Three, three. Let's change this to use default. And the third place was Gradle Wrapper Properties 3.3. Search in the following location. NDK Project Settings Gradle Model. try to open the one because I think I got version twenty 
symmetry is too low. So minimum is So now it's built, and I can run it. Uh, what I will attempt to do is I'll attempt to write up the things that I did, the changes that I made, and I will also upload versions that work on my machine, okay? And that way, and then hopefully you can take a look at a couple of them that work, that work on your machine, and you can read the instructions to if you ever need to, to do any fixing on that. All right, anyhow, wow. Okay, so this is the Hello World application from Deedle. So I'm going to run it, and it's going to come up like this. So what we're doing today is we want to do kind of like we did last time and do the anatomy of the application. Let's see all the things that we've seen before. And... There's actually a couple other versions of this application. Uh, there's a, a multilingual version, and I think there's an accessible version. So we'll look at those and see if there's any, any difference between them. So I will at least upload, yeah, I'll upload a couple of them. All right, so here's this, not anything earth shattering. You can, by the way, play with the emulator and flip it to see how it will look if the screen is oriented another way. Although it apparently it doesn't completely work. Oops. There we go. Maybe I wasn't given enough time to flip over. All right, let's look at this. So the app. Here's our Java code. Here's our resource files. The Java activity. How different do you think this Java activity will be to my Hello World app that we looked at last time? Not much, right? Because the Hello World app and this app really just display a screen and is done with it. All right, so there's no processing, no interactivity. If you click the B, it doesn't do anything. And therefore, I would expect it to be the same. And sure enough, if I look at the main activity, they both do the same thing. All right, there's an onCreate method that simply calls its ancestors on create method. 
and sets the content view to R Layout Activity Main. What is R Layout Activity Main? And where would I find it? Exactly. R layout means resource layout. So that's what I find. That's where I'd find it. What is activity main? What extension is that file going to have? It's an XML file. And the content of it is going to be the layout. So let's go to the layout, res, resources, layout, activity main. And we double click on it. We can either view it in a graphical view or we can view it in a text view to see the actual text. This particular, this particular application uses a linear layout. All right. All of these layout files are going to start with, okay, I lied. <laughs> if I ever say all or every, know that I really mean most, okay? Most of these layout files, the main layout file anyhow, typically is going to contain some kind of layout. And in this case, it is a linear layout. What does a linear layout mean? Linear means line. It means it's going to put the things right next to each other, the different controls. This layout has two controls. It has a text view and an image view. All right. So we look here. This is built in to the application framework. This is the application's name. So it's not part of the linear layout. The linear layout is for this portion of the screen. And it contains a text view and it contains an image view. The text view and image view are stacked on top of each other because that's what we told it by virtue of a, lim uh, uh, a linear layout. A linear layout means that they will be stacked in a line. So if we had 10 different layouts or 10 different controls in there, they'd be stacked on top of each other. Let's see what happens if we change this the layout orientation from vertical to horizontal. Actually doesn't work too well. Probably because of the size of the fields. I'm really kind of surprised about that. I guess we should never do that again then, huh? Oh, I see the problem. We didn't have a layout height. sort of did something. It tried to stack them next to each other. Let's make the height smaller. Well, it put it sort of like that. It sort of did it the way we want to. The image apparently is too big to fit alongside of it. It's good to experiment like this. Although in this case, it didn't really give me quite the results that I expected. All right, at any rate, this is a vertical layout, vertical linear layout, which means it's going to stack things on top of each other vertically. The first thing is a text view. All right? A text view is just that. It contains text. 
the text equals welcome to Android app development. What is wrong with this picture? We have a foul here. I don't know if it would be 10 or 15 yards, if it's flag 5 or 15 yards, if it's flagrant or not. Yes? Yeah. We should not have a string hard-coded in this file. Because what happens if we wanted to internationalize this? We want to make it multilingual. We would have to go and find all of the English language phrases and convert them or whatever. It's much better instead to have a put any hard-coded strings in the string file. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to fix it. Oh, I know what was wrong. I didn't do both of them. That's why. We'll get the horizontal thing working yet. Strings. Huh. It has it in there, it just doesn't use it. How odd. So how do we refer to that string? You know what? You know what? It didn't even let me ask that question. It did it for me. Actually, it, I think what it, actually, it's my mistake, right? It it shows the value of the string. Is that what you're going to say? Yes. Yeah, I think it shows the value of the string, unless you click on it. So maybe they didn't make a mistake because they did use the string. Okay, I take that back. Actually, again, what was wrong is I used, I forgot to give a height to the image. Okay, that didn't do anything. Let's make the change to horizontal. I'm determined to get this working horizontal. I don't know why. And there we go. We got them side by side. So we had to give that. All right. All righty. The color comes from the color fa uh, uh, table. The layout weight and gravity deals with how it is going to be laid out. It's going to be centered. I fixed it back to vertical, so let me run it again. We also have an image view. Image view. The layout width is wrap content. What do you suppose wrap content means? Close. However big something is, but not the screen. Is the image itself or the text itself? Yeah. So in other words, make this big enough to wrap around the content that you're displaying in it. Layout of zero means make it as big as it needs to be to fit. And apparently you can't do that with horizontal because it thinks that you really mean zero then. Uh, I have an ID here for this. Android ID app plus welcome text view. All right. We don't use that in this example. We will use that when we start writing code to access the stuff on the screen. So for example, if we had a text entry field and we wanted our code to grab the value from that text entry field and do something with it, we would give it an ID so that in our code we could refer to that ID. It's very similar to what you do in web programming, those of you that have done web programming. You'd give an element for JavaScript, you give it an ID. So that in your JavaScript statement, you could say find element by ID. 
and grab the particular value. So we don't have to do that here, but it doesn't hurt. And this is how you create an ID. You say at plus ID, and then you give the name of the ID. So if we wanted code-wise to point to that, we could use that ID to point to that particular text view or that particular image view. Gravity means to push it towards the center horizontally. And finally, the source of this image is at drawable bug. And if we look at our drawable folder, we have a bug PNG. There we go. And that's how that appears. It really is very difficult to memorize all these properties and all the different controls at first. It's best to take one example at a time, see what's in the layout for it, and then just be aware of that as you go forward to the next example that you're looking at. So again, this one has two things in it. Our Hello World application only had one control, just a text view. This has a text view and an image view. We do have color view that defines the different colors that are used. We have a styles view that defines the styles and the theme for this application. And we have three dimensions, three dimension XML. All right. What do you suppose that is? And you can, you can maybe see off to the side next to dimensions, it says there's a dimension XML, there's a width 600 DP, height 600 DP, and a width 820 DP. What do you suppose that relates to? When you're using it on different devices with different sizes, it will use different dimensions. What does it mean when you have multiple, what, what do we, I, I, I mentioned this just very quickly last time, so I don't expect you to know this, but maybe you remember or maybe you saw it when you were looking at it. What does it mean, what is it called? How do I want to phrase this? When we have multiple versions of a resource file, the resource file has added on to it something. Pardon me? Okay, responsive design. You're right, it, it does sort of help with that. That's not what it's called. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of reaching here. It's called a resource qualifier. A resource qualifier tells the Android operating system when to use this particular resource. In other words, the default is the dimension file, but it will use the dimension, the other two files, if the proper size is, uh, if the device is the proper size. Let's bring in the multilingual version of this application and look at it. So, here we go. This will give me a chance to get another one fixed so I have the instructions right. I'm going to go and open. And we're going to go up and say, open, welcome, international, internationalized. And we're going to open it in this window. And guess what? I got the same old problems I had before. So let's see if we remember how to fix them. I went up and said up here, preferences, build, gradle, use default. I went into here and changed it to 2.3.2, I think. Let 
I went here. Let's see if I even need to change that one. Change that to 2.3.2. Maybe it's 2.4.2. I then went in here and changed this to Twenty-six, some different number. All right, now I'm going to click try again, and let's see if it builds it. Oh, I, okay. So I changed this to three point three. Try again. Again, the other one. If you click the uh, error, uh -huh. like in the bottom left, like the X, the bottom left. Uh huh. Um, and then you click like in that other window, the one that you just did. Uh huh. We are where we are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out a problem with this. I'm, I'm not really sure what you're asking. I wanted to move on to talk about resource qualifiers. Yeah. change that. SDK build tools minimum is 25.
time you update a por uh, a a thing from DWS. Okay. Twenty-five. Okay. Is that? Repeat that, please. What about the SDK version below that? Uh, apparently, it's okay with that. Okay, now we can go and run it. Yay! I do apologize, but when I'm troubleshooting and trying to figure it out, uh, something like that, uh, it's tough to do that and answer questions at the same time. Okay, so here we go. Here's our welcome page. Let's go and let's convert this to... Spanish. Let's go and convert. I'm going to go do that by going to settings. systems language ah finally let's pick Spanish all right got rid of English so the rest of the course will be conducted in Spanish. All right. So now when I go and run this, notice it automatically went and changed everything to Spanish. When I go and run this, it will do the same thing for my app. All right. Welcome stayed the same because that was defined, but bienvenue, well, no, bienvenue would be French. Bienvenido and so on. So let's see what does that. If you look at the resource files, the values files, there's two values for the strings. There's the default, which just has the XML extension and no resource qualifier. That's the default. So if you're any language but Spanish, that's what it will show you, okay? That's what it will show you. It will show you what's in the default strings.xml. However, if your language matches the resource qualifier of this one, which is ES for Spanish, then you get these. Still the same app name, which seems weird, but again, the greeting, and the logo is a little bit different. All right. Uh, I apologize about the confusion for that. I will try to write up notes of all the things that I change. <laughs> all the things that I changed uh, to get the DDL examples going. The good news is you won't have to go through these gyrations when you uh, go and uh, create an app of your own. All right, when you create an app of your own, you should be okay. 
is just that when we open up these for examples. And so what I'll do is I'll put the tip calculator out there, I'll put the welcome, and I'll put the welcome internationalized version out there, and I'll put instructions of how to do it going forward so that you can do that. And I apologize for the confusion. Uh, doing research out on here, apparently, without realizing, I think I downloaded a beta version of Android Studio, which might not have been the wisest thing to do, all right, because there's typically issues with that and, and so on. All right, any questions about this? All right, remember, oh, go ahead. How do you set it? When you go and create it. So, for example, if I was going here, where is this? If I want to create a new strings file, I would say new. resource file, it would contain strings, and the resource qualifier would be country code, and the specific country would be, like if I wanted to do it for French, I'd do it FR, and then I'd click OK. I'm sorry, I lied. Country code is different than language code. Or not. It's locale. Locale, there we go. There we go. I knew it was only two, so if we wanted to create a French one, we would put FR, okay. And there we have the strings FR. And so therefore we could go, what I'd do then is I'd copy this over. Paste it in here. And then go put translate it into French. All right. And then you'd be good to go. But when you create the resource file, you specify if there's the resource qualifier you want to have. Now, language is just one of the resource qualifiers. Notice what all the other resource qualifiers are. Network code, locale, layout direction. So you could actually have labels different if it is vertical versus horizontal. Uh, smallest screen width, screen width, height, size, ratio, orientation. UI model. Actually, I think I allow. Well, orientation is the oriented. Night mode. So you could give, I don't know if you've seen applications that look different at night to give you a, a higher contrast or whatever. Screen density, touch screen, keyboard, text input, and so on. So there's a whole bunch of different resource qualifiers you could put in there to say, hey, if these conditions are met, then you use this file instead of that file. Okay. That's all I had. We're going to go over to lab. Uh, I will upload tip calculator, uh, welcome, and welcome internationalized. And I will attempt to document the changes that I made, which I think there were four of them. Again, it's possible your mileage might vary different, but if someone could test them out and let me know if it worked for them, that would be great. All right, we'll see you over in lab. Is anyone going to lab, by the way? Okay. All right. I usually ask that. I don't ask that as a, as a way of discouraging you, but given this is the, my last class of the day, if no one's going to lab, then I'm sure not going to go. So, uh, all right. Yeah.